don't have that, you don't have you don't have nothing stating that you only been out on the road for five hours or you on, or you just started. That's where paper laws come in at. And a lot of you guys don't have that on the truck because a lot of you guys don't even talk about it. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. When we bounce from this shit here, I gonna go down in them corners, let the people know. Word did not get back to me. My name is my name. Do you guys know about paper logs? So let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I think that paper logs should be taught in the school, should be taught at the time of you learning to get your CDL because that is part of trucking. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Now, if you want to come into the sphere of trucking, then you got to know all aspects of trucking and paper logs is part of that aspect. Now, I know a lot of you that get into trucking, a lot of you are not taught properly. You know, the only thing that you guys are taught to do is, is enough to get your CDL. That's it. Everything else, when you go to that starter company, they supposed to teach you there. They supposed to teach you about electronic laws. They supposed to teach you about paper laws. They supposed to teach you when the electronic laws happen to go out. See, that happened to me back in the day. The, the, the electronic log went out. I had to hurry up and pull over and, and start a paper log. But unfortunately for me, <laughs> DOT saw me and kind of put me into the way station. And that's a whole nother story for that. But in any case, if your ELD goes out for any reason, you have to start a paper log. You still have to keep account of the time that you're spending. And for whatever reason that you're not able to keep account, you will get uh, you will get violation for not keeping up with that paper law. But with everything that's being made to be easy for us out here, it's crazy and electronic laws is one of them they made trucking to be simple instead of shifting gears the truck is doing it itself when you veer over the truck will let you know that you're veering over if you get too close to a car the truck will let you know that you're too, too close to a car and if you stay too close to the car the truck will automatically break they making they they making the art of trucking simple for everybody. But when it comes to the ELD, you still have to keep account of the time that you're on the road. If you don't, you'll be in violation. And a lot of time you new drivers don't know what to do when your ELD freezes up, your ELD goes out or whatever, whatever the case, the malfunctioning tablet that your ELD is on is going through. Now, when you don't have that, you don't have, you don't have nothing stating that you only been out on the road for five hours or you, on, or you just started. That's where paper laws come in at. And a lot of you guys don't have that on the truck because a lot of you guys don't even talk about it. A lot of you gurus don't talk about it. A lot of you TikTok drivers don't even talk about it. Y'all don't talk about the fact that you need paper logs on your truck in case your ELD goes down. What do you do when your ELD goes down? You don't know because nobody never, number one, taught you. And number two, nobody's talking about it. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not coming at you the wrong way. I'm, I'm just coming at you to, to let you know what you need so you can understand so that you won't get in trouble because the, everybody trying to make this trucking thing all glamorous. 
But when something happens and consequences come into play, it's not all that glamorous no more, right? It's not. Get into an accident, it's not glamorous. Get pulled into a way station and get buku violations, and now you got a PSP report, you got you got stuff that's on your DAC report, it's not all that glamorous no more, right? Right? Now you got all this stuff on your jacket. Now that the next company that you want to go to, you can't you can't go to that that company because they see all that stuff on your jacket. You got all these violations for HOS report because nobody never told you that you need a a a, a logbook in case your ELD system goes down. You stuck on the road. You can't even do nothing. You gotta go and get yourself a law book. They got them at all the they they got them at all the truck stops. It's just simple, just to go and get a law book and keep it on your truck, just in case your ELD system should happen to fail. I'm here to tell you. I'm here to tell you. I'm an advocacy for you guys. I like to see you guys win. I don't like to see you guys fail. And a lot of times these companies, these trainers, these schools put you in a position of failure instead of winning with all this misinformation out there. Everybody tell you to get in the trucking, but they ain't going to tell you to, they, they're not going to tell you the consequences that you might be facing in trucking. They probably might be telling you to get in the trucking so they can get that, that $1,000 referral bonus. Nobody ain't going to tell you that. They might not even tell you in orientation because they figure you might already know that. But if you don't, you need to ask those questions. Because I feel like when I went to school, I was taught about the ELD system. At the time, it wasn't a big thing because we were still learning how to do paper. But as ELD came into play, we still have to keep the paper laws in case that ELD goes out. And trust me when I tell you this, the ELD system do go out. <laughs> the ELD system do go out. So just hear what I'm saying. I'm here to let you know that in case you don't know, and I hope you do know that if you don't have an ELD system and it, and if your ELD system should fail, you should know that you need to have paper laws so you can still keep track of the time that you're out here on the road. You could pick up ELD laws or you could pick up law books any truck stops out here. Who is that DJ like that?